OK, so you've got some funds available and you want to fulfil a long-standing dream of having a classic car or cars. Ideally, you'd like to have the inside track on what's a safe bet and what isn't. Well, I've been picking the brains of our classic car expert Ian Tyrrell to get five cars that we should invest in for the 2020s. So let's have a look at each of these models and why Ian thinks it's something that perhaps you should consider adding to your collection right now. The first of Ian's recommendations is the Mercedes R129 SL built between 1989 and 2001. These cars are fantastic value for money at present. They're just on the cusp of going from passe to classic. The AMG 6 litre S has already flown the coupe at 50 to 60,000, but a very respectable SL320, if you're looking at decent fuel mileage, or an SL500, for those who want one of the top of the range cars, they represent really good value and they're just poised to start appreciating. Buy the best you can on condition, mileage and maintenance. You're probably looking at 12 to 15,000 pounds and it could easily appreciate up to 50% over the next two or three years. Ian's next recommendation is the Bentley Turbo RT or the Turbo R Mulliner of 1996 and 97. The Bentley Mulsanne Turbo, launched in 1982, was a game changer for the crew factory. An instant 30% power hike from the standard Mulsanne turned a leisurely boulevardier into a rocket armchair for four. The model was continuously developed until the last of the line, such as the models that we've selected above. Condition and prior maintenance to keep the old school engineering in order is crucial but buy the best you can of these, preferably with as many factory-fitted Mulliner special order upgrades as possible, a natural selection from the many ratty ones out there will keep demand and prices for these niche cars strong and getting stronger. Allow 25 to 30K for a really good one at present. There had to be a prancing horse in here somewhere, so Ian selected the Ferrari 550 Marinello and the 575, built between 1996 and 2006. These very fast but eminently usable GTs enjoyed a huge surge during the frenzy of classic car buying around five years ago, but now they've adjusted back down again. I think it's temporary. Right-hand drive is important for the UK market. Left-hand drive examples are cheaper and more plentiful. A good UK spec car can be bought for 80 to 90k, but they'll soon be back over 100,000 for very good ones. Buy carefully, don't rack up the miles too much, and enjoy. Next is the Lamborghini Murcielago from 2001 to 2010. The car looks very imposing and has serious cred as a driver's car. Although it's kind of overshadowed by its replacement, the Aventador, it was preceded by the Diablo, which has already grown in value. This is an appreciating asset waiting to happen. There's a huge number of models and specs, but get the right advice and it's an interesting proposition. Prices are hugely variable depending on lots of factors, anything from 140,000 to more than 300,000. I make no apologies for having a second bull from the Lamborghini stable in this list, and of course, Ian's chosen the Mura. It's arguably the first supercar and it's really enjoyed a negligible downturn in value over this adjustment period of recent years. This just goes to show how resilient the Mura is. Once it's borne in mind that other cars, such as Ferrari models like the Daytona, have depreciated significantly in that same period. The Mura is a rare combination of cutting edge engineering from the 1960s and drop dead gorgeous looks. For those reasons, its future appreciation is bulletproof. Current prices range from three quarters of a million to 2.2 million, depending on the model. So if you want Ian to help you find some of these kind of cars for your collection, just get in touch with us through the supercarsmonaco.com site and we'll start the search.